What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we are talking about a lot of things. But first up, we got here. There will never be another 21. On Sunday, we will officially retire Sean Taylor's number. And the first thing when I thought of this, I was like, great. That's awesome. It's well deserved. It should have been happened. He's one of the fan favorites. He's a legend here. You know, hashtag 21, you know, HTTR 21 is a thing here. We, we love Sean Taylor. The, everything about Sean Taylor is something that people remember in a positive light. And when it happened in 2007, everybody knows where they were. I was at school and it, you hear about this and you're like, holy moly. You see it in the papers. And it was just a tragedy in Washington. He went to the playoffs that year. The, what followed that was awesome. The Todd Collins came in. We won the last four games in a row. We ended up losing to Seattle. But, you know, because we shouldn't have played Jason Campbell. Todd Collins got us there. We should have just kept riding with him. It was just a, it was a momentum thing. But, but anyway, that's a whole other debacle. But still, we won the last four games. It was a great moment uh, in a tragedy when Sean Taylor died. You know, everybody was so upset about it. And he was amazing. He was like leading the league in interceptions and he missed some games that year. Anyway, I think he had like four or five interceptions and it, he was just a stud. You know, the thing about the hit with like against the Cowboys, he had that huge hit where they caused that incredible fumble. Or you think about the punter that got hit in the Pro Bowl. Like there's so many good things about Sean Taylor. I wear Sean Taylor's jersey every Sunday. That is my game day jersey, and I'm going to continue to wear it forever. I get compliments on, on it all the time. And it's a great thing that Washington wants to retire Sean Taylor's jersey. It's well-deserved. And then you just, unfortunately, have to think about it a little further. And after you do that, you go from happy, glad, ecstatic, to absolutely disgusted. To disgusted that they are using number 21. Sean Taylor's dead memory to try to get out of the disgusting nature of this organization. Emails are coming out all the time of how they just completely mistreated the cheerleaders, sended their nude pics to people across the lead, league where a cheerleader should not have to get naked as a part of their job. Dan Snyder is just this horrible, horrible human being. Horrible, disgusting human being. I knew this a long time ago. My mother-in-law used to be in the booths. All right? She, not like in the, in the boxes, rather where she worked and she served Dan Snyder. People weren't even allowed to look at him in the eye or else a fear of getting fired. All right. She just the mistreatment she went through. She knows firsthand and has told me these things years ago. So I already knew these kind of things that he was just a piece of crap. So this stuff coming out is not a surprise here for me, right? It's just not a shock. Everybody knows that Dan Snyder is horrible. So, like, it's just coming out more and more every day. Of course, it hit John Gruden. That uh, ended up him making him get, uh, you know, fired. Or uh, he uh, resigned, right? But, of course, everybody knew he was going to get fired anyway, so he resigned on his own terms. Uh, Bruce Allen, the big piece of crap he was, the damn good culture, right? The culture's damn good. Yeah, okay. Dan Snyder. And also, I mean, everything about Dan Snyder right now just makes you hate him. If you don't hate him, I, I hope, I, I don't hope, I guess, I don't know. You're going to hate him by the end of it. It's just a fact. The reason we changed the name, the sole reason that this name has changed right now, is not because FedEx went out. He doesn't care about that. Who cares about FedEx? We can get other people to come in and support the name. Or there's like minority owners. He didn't care about that kind of crap. What he cared about is he tried to make it because the same week that he announced the name change was when this and all this stuff initially came out from the Washington Post. This, all of this, taking the heart 
from this fan base that supported this name for so many years, decades, 80 some odd years. He did it to just save his own butt. And he's doing it again with Sean Taylor right now. He is also just trying to get people in the seats. You look here. Here's the numbers. Washington is dead last in percentage of fan attendance right now at 62.2%. The next closest at 74.1% is the New Orleans Saints. And you think, oh, wait, why is New Orleans so low? Their first home game was in Florida. They had a 35,000 attendance because their first game was 10, 12 hours away from their home state. Their second game against the Giants was nearly 70,000. And yet they still have more fans on average than we do in our three home games. All of them in D.C. It's not a secret of why this number is so low. It has nothing to do with the fact we suck. Oh, they, they need to just win, Ron Rivera says. You just got to come out and win. It has nothing to do with it. You change the name. You come out here and you spit out terrible performances, but you also ripped our hearts out with that. And people are standing up to this bullcrap. You haven't come up with a name and you're just freaking making every dime you can from the Washington football team throughout this whole time. You're sending out little clips, making the brand, just making us freaking wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. The Cleveland Indians, immediately, we are now the Cleveland Guardians. Next year, we will be the Cleveland Guardians. Boom, it's it. But what does Dan Snyder and this Washington football team do? They're going to drag it out. Try to make ad revenue through this whole process. Try to make us feel included. Here's little surveys. They don't care about our dang opinion. This has nothing to do with us. If they cared about our opinion, they would have never changed the name. 90% of Native Americans don't give a crap. There's reservations all throughout this country with high schools, with the Redskins uh, mascot, with their name. This isn't something that offends Native Americans. This is a joke. This whole process is a joke. Only reason this name has changed is because Dan Snyder it, it is trying to save his butt. This is a dying organization trying to grasp at every little thing they can to try to save it. But no, you got cancer. Stage four. It's killing you. And you need to rip it out. And the cancer's name? Dan Snyder. If you don't agree with this, I don't know what you're looking at. He is putting this team into the ground. You try to hire Jason Wright, a minority, to be your team president. And he, Jason Wright seems to be a great qualified guy until I find out that he freaking approved this. Are you kidding me? You announce it three days before the game? Nobody even remembers freaking Bobby Mitchell. Nobody was alive. You announced that nearly, a, what, six months in advance? And you're announcing who died 14 years ago? Also, what's significant on 14? Why 14 random years later, not even on the anniversary of his death, right? It's nothing. What is 14 years? Why are you just randomly 14 years later? Announcing it retiring number 21. What's a part? No, the only reason is because you're trying to use his dead body to resurrect yourself. And it's pathetic. It's disgusting. It's gross, grimy, Bush League, everything. It is just terrible. This has got to go. 650,000 emails were released from this Washington investigation. There's got to be enough information to get rid of him. If there was enough information to get rid of John Gruden, somebody that had nothing to do with the team, yeah, Dan needs to go. 
How is this cheerleader thing not enough? We already know he made cheerleaders get freaking naked and be escorts for season ticket holders. You're done. This isn't 1944. This is happening in 2010s. That's been gone. But, uh, like, how was that? He, like, oh, they he tried to put out Tanya Snyder and, oh, yeah, we're, we're doing minority thing here, blah, 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 you know, even though women aren't minorities, but apparently they are. But anyway, so yeah, we're going to put her out there and maybe try to make her save face. Yeah, then she has a freaking interview never acknowledging the women that were hurt in this situation. All it is is about her family and how hard it's been on them. Screw you. You're a billionaire. Suckma. You think I cry for you at night? <laughs> no. Th this is a joke, man. And Jason Wright, Ron Rivera, and everybody else that's self Julie Donaldson, self respecting human beings need to come out and say, nah, this ain't happening. We will retire Sean Taylor's jersey. Home opener next year. Book your ticket. Be there. Dan Snyder, you're out. That's what needs to happen. They need to come out and say, no. Sean Taylor's jersey will not be retired on Sunday. It will be game one of the home opener next season. And we will do this right. Because otherwise, this is a joke. It's spitting on his grave. Sean Taylor deserves better than this. Sean Taylor's family deserves better than this. They should not just be thrown out there as a way to try to distract from this disgusting behavior. He has a daughter. Heck no. This should have, his daughter should not have to be subject to this. His number should be retired with Dan Snyder. Nothing to do with this team anymore. This is just so disgusting on so many levels. <clears throat> you guys let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video out if you want to. Because this needs this, this just needs to be said. This needs to be out there. I know a lot of people are saying it. It's good news. But hey, also in the description below, there's Discord links. Hop in our Discord if you want to. I'm not even going to shout out the other thing because this is not a video for that. This is gross. This is terrible. Ron Rivera, Jason Wright, Julie Donaldson, and company need to make this right. This will not happen this Sunday. This will happen game one next year. That's what I have to say. Until next time.